Construct an UJIV of the test scores. To construct an UJIV, we need the values of the class boundaries and the values of the cumulative frequencies. This time, we are going to find the less than cumulative frequency as well as the greater than or more than cumulative frequency. To find the class boundaries, just subtract 0.5 from each of the lower limits and add 0.5 to each of the upper limits. For scores 22 to 24, the lower limit is 22 and the upper limit is 24. Subtract 0.5 from 22 and add 0.5 to 24. The class boundaries are 21.5 to 24.5, 18.5 to 21.5, 15.5 to 18.5, 12.5 to 15.5, and 9.5 to 12.5. Now that we have our class boundaries, let's find the less than cumulative frequency. To find the less than cumulative frequency, copy the frequency of the lowest class interval, then add the frequency of the next upper class interval. The frequency of the lowest class interval is 4. So 4 plus 8 is 12, 12 plus 7 is 19, 19 plus 6 is 25, 25 plus 5 is 30. Let's add another column for the coordinates of the less than ojive. To understand better what these values are, let's answer this question. How many students got scores less than 24.5? The answer is 30. So the coordinates are 24.5, 30, 21.5, 25, 18.5, 19, 15.5, 12, 12.5, 4. And we have to include the lower boundary of the lowest class interval, which is 9.5. The same question, how many students got scores less than 9.5? The answer is 0. Now let's find the values of the greater than or more than cumulative frequency. To find the greater than cumulative frequency, copy the frequency of the highest class interval, then add the frequency of the next lower class interval. The frequency of the highest class interval is 5, so 5 plus 6 is 11, 11 plus 7 is 18, 18 plus 8 is 26, 26 plus 4 is 30. Let's pair these values to the class boundaries so that we can have our coordinates for the more than ojive. This time our questions are, how many students got scores greater than 24.5? The answer is 0. How many students got scores greater than 21.5? The answer is 5. How many students got scores greater than 18.5? 11. How many students got scores greater than 15.5? 18. How many students got scores Greater than 12.5, 26. How many students got scores greater than 9.5, 30. Now let's construct an UJIVE using Google Chart Tools. Type the following on the Google Sheet. The boundaries, the greater than cumulative frequency, and the less than cumulative frequency. Arrange the boundaries in ascending order. We have 9.5, 12.5, 15.5, 18.5, 21.5, and 24.5. Type also the values of the corresponding cumulative frequencies based on our coordinates. Click Insert, then choose Chart. 
Minimize the graph and place in the desired position. Click Chart Type and choose Line. Scroll down and click Aggregate Column A. To customize our titles, click Customize, then click Chart and Axis Titles. I want Ojive as my chart title, so I will type Ojive. You can change the font, the font size, the format, and text color. You can click the subtitle, horizontal axis title, vertical axis title to customize the title, the font, the font size, the format, and text color. You can also customize the following series, legend, horizontal axis, vertical axis, and grid lines. Click series and watch the difference. You can change the axis, line thickness, point size, and point shape. If you want data labels, simply click the box. Wow, magic! You can also change the position, the font, the font size, the format, and text color of the legend. Wait, something is wrong with the legend label. Wow, magic! By the way, there are two types of Ojive curves, more than and less than Ojive. It's high time to change the label. Just click the graph if you want more from the chart editor. You can also customize the label font, label font size, label format, and text color in the horizontal axis. Same is true in the vertical axis. You can even change the minimum and the maximum value. If you want more grid lines, just add. I added four minor grid lines. Save the image and enjoy watching your Ojive.